All right, here we go. You recording? Or? Yes, I am. Trying to get a few of the decorative trees downtown Fargo right now. Hopefully this looks good to some of y'all. I know a couple that would like it. I should hope so. Here at the Block 9 project, when we get a better angle of it, I want to show off that Christmas tree better. Yeah, we got another one that's blocking it. Yeah. No, that was the same one. Yeah. I thought there was another one blocking it. Nope. My bad. It happens. Yeah, popular place in downtown Fargo. Never been there. Yeah, from what I've been told, they're expensive but worth it. I've never been in there. If I have, I just don't know it because I would have been too young. Fargo Housing Authority here to the right. Mm-hmm. I went to talk to them one day about a few things and they hung up on me. Yeah, it's... Yeah, he's like, uh, yeah, we'd like to really click. You're like, I guess that means I'm not going to get any help there. <laughs> I wanted to ask him about a few things, and they just quit, hung up on me. Yep. I'm like, okay, nice talking to you. Jerks. <laughs> uh, it's a lot nicer than the words I use. Yeah. I'll just say bleep, 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 bleep. Yeah. I wouldn't go to that damn place to save my life. Yeah, I don't think a person minded when they were younger. When I was younger, it was one thing, but there's a that the empire. Oh, you want a rough couple of bars? Those are the two to go to. Oh, definitely. Those. <laughs> you want to get stabbed or shot? Those are the places to go. Yeah, you want to get into some kind of a fight. Guaranteed it'll happen there. One, I don't remember if it was the Empire or the Bismarck, but one guy can't, and I can't remember if it was a stabbing or if the guy got shot, but there was a big incident at one of them two bars. Yeah, if it's the one I'm thinking of, is I think a group of guys jumped somebody. Yeah, that was it. And then what happened is... When they got outside, he ended up pulling a gun on them. Yeah, that was the incident. Yup. Personally, I thought the guy was justified for pulling the gun on him because... Oh, when you get a bunch of damn guys jumping you. Oh, well, yeah. Shit, I'd pull a damn gun, too. Yeah, it's like, hey, you gotta protect your own skin. I'll take three hawks in a car. Damn right. Means protecting my ass, I'll do it. Yeah. Apparently, the jury wasn't convinced that the guy was in imminent danger, or some crap. Yeah. What are they, you know? <laughs> yeah. All I could say is they must have heard something that I didn't. A sheep. Oh. Ah. Mm 
Mo. Yeah, it's gonna be a little dark for a few, but yeah, it'll lighten back up. Yeah, no argument there. Yeah, we don't have much for lights in this particular stretch of road, but heck with it. We gotta go up another two, maybe three blocks and it's better lighting. Mm-hmm. What was that one joke about the bear you were telling me about? Oh yeah. What do you get with a bear with no bees? <laughs> ears. Yeah, ears. <laughs> I was thinking of that one and I couldn't quite remember how it went. <laughs> That's your dad joke of the evening, folks. <laughs> and yes, I'm sure if my brain was functioning right, I'd have a bunch more dad jokes. Over here to the right up here? Yeah. You got uh, Washington Elementary. Yeah. That is, when I was in grade school, I went there, right? Yeah. And Barbara Bush was there with the Secret Service mm -hmm. back when uh, GW, George was in office, right? Yeah, the first... The first George. Yeah. Before Clinton. Yeah. After Reagan. Yep. Anyway, I got to meet George Barbara. I got to meet Barbara Bush there. Pretty Bunch cool. Of the students got to go out and the Secret Service was out there. And she gets out of the limo. But yeah, and you're the... She was, she was like freaking right... Like, Right there. Yeah, you're going. I'm on the asshole going to who are the blind guys with the hearing aids. It's like, you're not going to do this. I did, do it. How right in front of the freaking entire crowd. I asked, I turned and looked right at the teacher and go, who are the blind guys with the hearing aids? How are they going to protect her? Like, oh, there's a secret service. They're for protection. Yeah, I call bullshit. It's like, how are they going to do that when they can't see or hear where the damn? I seen Ray Charles do that stunt before. And he's not even deaf. Yeah, so how are they going to help them? Like, why aren't they bouncing around like Ronnie Millsap at a piano? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Secret Service must have thought you were a real prick that day. <laughs> I was like freaking like seven or eight years old. <laughs> like, yep, we know which one is the smart ass in this group. Who are the guys with the hearing aids? And so, who are the blind guys? Uh, secret service, yeah, bullshit. How do they get their clothes so firmly pressed where they can't even see what they're doing? <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah. How are they putting on their ties like that? Do they have... I can't even put one on that straight. <laughs> I can see it. Come to think of it, I don't think of any man that could do it. Ooh, they must be having women help them. Hmm. Only way we get a tie on right. <laughs> Only way I get a tie on right is if it's a damn clip on. Yeah, I could still screw that up. Uh, sadly enough, so could I. Ma'am. <laughs> Something got your attention, huh? No. Ah. I just thought I'd say that. Ah. Ooh, ooh, boss. Ooh, ooh. place I won't step into. Yeah, too white trash even for my ass. Yeah, I got neighbors at that damn place. Oh, 
porno freak trying to set you up on a date. Yeah, with a lady old enough to be my mother. Ugh. And she was like freaking eight times bigger than me. And you weren't doing that, and you were all of what, 220 at the time? Yeah, I was like 220. She was like freaking like 600 pounds. Toothless wonder. I'm like, no, thank you. You never want to fight her for the boneless wings? Oh, shit. Yeah. Anybody that's married to that eats till she's done. Assuming there's anything left. No kidding. Mm-hmm. That place is just way, way too white trashy. And it coming from us, that's a hell of an insult. Younger farm here to the right. Oh, yeah. They're shutting that down, you know. Yeah, I'm not surprised. That building's like the first brick building, I think, in the metro. Huh. <coughs> if I heard right, they don't have enough money to keep the children's museum or whatever hell it is with that. Yeah. They don't have enough funding, so they're shutting it down. And I thought I heard that they've had problems with their boiler system. They can't afford to fix that or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> That Yunker Farm. Yeah. If you're if you're the type that like hauntings, that's supposed to be one of the haunted places in the metro. Oh yeah. I think part of NDSU campus is supposed to be haunted. I call bullshit. Yeah. I know a guy that worked in NDSU campus. Yeah. In the building that's supposed to be haunted. Yeah. He did it for six months straight. Not one peep out anything. Uh, let's see. I think they do a few things with Bonanzaville for the so-called hauntings. Yeah. Again, I call bullshit. Railroad tracks on 21st. No. Right. Yeah, 21st Street and 12th Avenue, South Memorial. Oh, yeah, by the tankers, right? Yeah, by the oil tanks. Ooh, unleaded gas, 88, you know? Yeah. The cheap stuff. Yeah. 290 a gallon over here at KSU's. Ooh, nice. Yeah, we're paying 329. Yeah. But the set of tracks that's right there. Yeah. It's supposed to be haunted. Oh, yeah, something about, what was that? Some a- lady was walking the tracks years, many moons ago before we were born. Yeah, what was it? 40s or 30s or... Yeah, this was back in like the 1920s or 30s. Yeah, that... Yeah, 20s. I think she was deaf. Yeah, I seem to remember that... a white long dress. Didn't hear a train coming behind her. It plowed her over. Yeah, and I seem to remember the important part of that story was deaf. Yeah. You know? So yeah, right at that freaking whole intersection. It's supposed to be haunted. Yep. Her spirit... People have claimed to have seen her apparition. Go, yeah, her apparition for many, many decades. Donnie always told me he saw. Of course, I think he also said take that with a grain of salt. Yeah, he was also drunk most of the time. Yeah, so he wasn't sure if it was just the alcohol or what. Every time he said he saw, he was drunk. Yeah, so. Take that one for what you will. Yeah. I'm surprised he wasn't seeing the pink elephants. I've seen pink elephants. Drunk, huh? In, uh, cartoons. Ah, oh, okay, that would explain that. Not Disney related ones. Mmm. They're playing trumpets and they had the flags off the trumpets. Was that Dumbo when he was drunk? I don't know, probably. Yeah. Yeah, I seem to remember Dumbo was drunk on uh, the movie. I don't remember seeing it on cartoons. <laughs> you know, I just had the urge to do something. Squatching? No. When we went to stop here, I had the urge to yell out, No brakes! No brakes! <laughs> and then just blow through the intersection. Yay! Daddy's home! <laughs> <laughs> That lady walked in the shoe store today. Claimed she wore a size five. Couldn't even put a shoe box on her foot. <laughs> a rice grinder. Yeah. 
That's what they are. Our little rice grinders. It's a super. Uh, yeah. Um, they start doing that shit. I just call them rice grinders. Yeah. Um, There's only one reason why I don't miss it. <laughs> Gas. Yeah. Every second or third day, you're filling back up. Shit, every 20 miles, you drop on a half a tank. Ugh. I should know. Yeah, that... Tina and I went out to freaking Holly one day. Oh, yeah. She, uh, do me a favor and drive. I've never been out to Holly before. Yeah, okay, whatever. I don't mind driving. We get in the damn truck. Mind you, I started off with the full tank of gas. Yeah, you had literally topped it off, what, an hour earlier? Not even. Hmm. Sector topped off the tent. We went out to Holly. And I'm on the outskirts of town, and I'm at a half a tank of gas. I turned around, we came back, and I was damn near empty. And she's going like, what the hell's wrong with this? <laughs> I'm like, you wouldn't get it. It's like, my God, talk about a gas hog. I'm sitting back going, it's a 360 V8. Yeah. Dual exhaust, glass packs, four wheel drive, blah, 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 blah. And yes, the glass packs were fun. <laughs> noise ordinance on Broadway, and on the asshole making the most noise. Everybody else is like, whoa! No noise past a certain time. All right, I'll make as much noise as I can. Yeah, they were practically daring you to do it. I had to. Yeah, it's obligated. You sit there and tell me no noise after a certain time, I'm going to make noise. And believe me, the cops are looking to see who the asshole was making that noise. Oh, they followed me up down, down Main Avenue. They figured you're... They followed me down Broadway and up Main Avenue. They know what your asshole do. Yeah, they didn't even have to stop and think. It's like, big truck. Yeah, most likely. Big old mud tires on that pig. Something that could easily be used on a farm. It was. Exactly. The guy I got it off, pulled it off the farm. Yeah. Sold it to me. Mm. That was off of a farm in Jamestown, North Dakota. Yep. Took it off the farm and trailered it out here. Yeah. It Can't say I blame him. Hell, you're going like, I don't care if this thing's a piece of shit. It's like, it's worth it. That was the one I ran that into the ground. Oh. Every damn seal on that engine was spewing oil. Oh. I literally ran that truck right into the ground. Oh. Sad thing is I traded that in for the POS Stratus. Oh, God, that thing was a piece of shit. Yeah, funny thing about it is the dealership jerked the engine, threw a used one into it, run it again. Yeah, and that They didn't... did, too. They went right to a junkyard. Whatever they did, they found a used engine anyway. Threw it in there. And it was underpowered. Yeah, no kidding. Damn, was it ever underpowered? I just sat there and cried. It's like, how could you? The thing had nards and you castrated it. It's like, why don't you just shoot it? You neutered my truck. That's our truck. We'll do what we want with it now. Made it into a... Turned it into a girl. <laughs> Way of putting it. Huh. Yeah, I mm -hmm. And when we went there, instead of calling it Agassi, I called it Agony. Yeah, because that school gave you a lot of agony. How long have we been filming? Uh, damn near 20 minutes. Just absolute. Yeah. Christmas lights to the right. Mm -hmm. I 
Yeah, just don't get into the holiday spirit. Yeah. I hate Santa, but it doesn't do anything for me. Nope. Comes to the holidays, I'd rather be petrol drunk than freaking give a damn about it. If anybody complains about you being drunk on Christmas, it's like what? There was a reason why God invented alcohol. He wanted to keep the rest of us happy. I heard this one before. Yeah. God turned water into water. No, wait, Jesus turned water into wine, right? Yeah. Oh, shiners turned water into shine. Yep. You may have done water into wine, but we do water into shine. Yeah. Yeah, I'll probably hear that. Both that from somebody, but. Hmm. Or pond crows. Nice storm. They don't like me too well. long. <laughs> Why? I don't know. Went in there one day to pond shit and they just don't like me. Ugh. I didn't need the money, but I just didn't need the stuff that I. Well, technically, I didn't pawn it, I sold it. Yeah. Just because I didn't need them. Yeah, that's it. You ever get that stuff, you know, it's just, it's sitting there and you just don't use it. Yeah, it collects I was like, get rid of excess junk just because. Mm hmm Dwayne's House of Pizza. Good pizza, by the way. Expensive. Definitely worth it. It is. Mm-hmm. Spend something worth it. Yeah. That's one time I don't mind spending up. If you go in there on, uh, well, see, this location I don't think is open Mondays. But I know if you go in there on Tuesday and I think on Wednesday. I think so. I think they do half price pizza. Yeah, something like that. I don't remember exactly what the deal is, but you could get some better pricing. The reason I think they do it is to drum business up in there during the beginning of the week. Yeah, when it's traditionally slower in this area. Yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, well, the taco shop we just passed by. Oh. It's good if you want a kind of quick in and out type thing at a reasonable price. Isn't there a restaurant called the in and out? Yeah, I don't think we got any in this area. Isn't that like a Texas or California thing? I don't know. Yeah. I thought that was a Cali thing. Yeah, I wouldn't know. Now, personally, I think when it comes to Mexican around here, if you want good Mexican and you want the actual atmosphere to go with it, well, let's see, Mexican Village ain't too bad, I don't think. They're all right. Yeah, I like their second location off of uh, 45th. Yeah, that's it, at 45th. I like that a lot better because you get a little bit more room to move around and more elbow space and tables and whatnot. Mexican restaurant in <coughs> Moorhead. Oh, yeah. The, nah, that's the way to go. Yeah, El Terreros. Yeah. Yep, now that's a good one for... That's the way to go. Again, I like the atmosphere. Prices are actually pretty reasonable. They are. Do you get good quality food at a great price? And it's actually ran by a Mexican family. Yeah, if, they do things authentic. Yep, they do things authentic for those that want it that way. When people come here, you see, it's both the food and the atmosphere, okay? Hmm. <laughs> so where's your 36 pieces of flair? Uh, Brian over here. What, I got the bare minimum 15. <laughs> see, that's just the problem, okay? Do you want to go that's, to somebody that's, that's, that's Minimum. You want to do deal with anybody at just uh, just bare minimum? You do want to express yourself, no, don't you? <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, she's flipping them off, going, yeah, here's me expressing myself to you. <laughs> yeah, I got fired. I flipped the boss off. Cook that was standing there watching. Bunch of customers. But all that El Toreros. What I actually think, and I think this is a good selling point for them in my mind. If you ever want authentic Mexican and you want it done right, don't trust any white boy to do it, you know. You got to trust the actual Mexicans to do it properly because the rest of us can never do it right. And I don't care how hard we try. That's one group of people that needs no reason to party. Nope. On the 4th of July, let's have a damn celebration. Cinco de Mayo, let's party. Your daughter's having a 15th birthday. Let's have a party. Ma'am. Wait, are we supposed to have a sweet 16 when they hit 16? Yeah. Close enough. Some, some holiday in Canada, let's throw a party. Huh. That's how they work, isn't it? Hell, they could almost be white trash. You don't even think about it. We don't need a reason to party either. We just wake up and it's like, Woohoo! Show me some tits! <laughs> <laughs> Those of us that are trashy enough want to try to check out our own sisters or cousins. Which actually kind of reminds me of certain neighbors we yeah, used to. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think I'm starting to get a little hungry. What do you want to do? Well, I might as well head home. I think we still got some leftovers of lasagna. Yeah, there's a whole tray in the fridge. Ah, good. Tanya Tucker. Shooting start to see. Ah, she must definitely be well past her prime when she's doing the casino gigs. Yeah, wasn't she past her prime a hundred years ago? Probably. I don't listen to country music. I used to a little bit. Well, this newer stuff I won't listen to, but older stuff I don't mind. Yeah. Everybody likes a little Willie. Oh, yeah. Where are we at on time on the recording? 28.15. You want to shut it down, you kid? All right.